curls on that arm soon. about what you can do to take that stress off your shoulders. A lot of people, when they do their incline benches, they feel a ton of pressure on their shoulders, and it takes away from the chest workout that they could be getting. Something I absolutely 100% recommend is when you come down, a lot of people, when they do dumbbells, they come down real wide. So when they're coming down real wide, they're stretching out their shoulders a ton. They're putting a lot of pressure on their shoulders to support the weight that they're holding in their hands. What I recommend is not coming down as wide, coming down a little bit more narrow, sinking your triceps deeper, and not coming down as wide, like I just said. But when you come down, rather than coming straight down right here and putting a ton of pressure on your, on your uh, shoulders, come down, sink your elbows deeper, about right here, taking that pressure off your shoulders you're still stretching out your chest so as you can see my chest here is stretched this is where you have a little bit wider of a grip then when you bring it down close I'm still stretching out my chest just like you see but I'm not putting as much pressure on my shoulders so definitely try that the second thing I recommend I'm gonna show you guys real quick right here the uh, angle of my bench as you can see I am up what well, that's terrible um, as you can see I am only up one notch right here I'm on the very first notch so I'm not at a very steep angle the higher up the angle you are the more pressure you put on your shoulders the lower down you are the more you just focus on your chest and the thing about it is we're trying to work our upper chest right so we want some of, somewhat of an angle but the higher up the angle we go sure we're still working our upper chest but we're bringing more shoulders into it so what I recommend to still get that upper chest work and take the pressure off the shoulders is just go up one notch so it's not a uh, crazy uh, angle or anything just real simple try those two things and uh, hopefully that helps solve some of that shoulder pain that you've been feeling Something I have been uh, recently doing, and I just actually started it earlier this week, um, Snapchat. Now, I have never used Snapchat. Like, I've used it really sparingly, and honestly, to be completely honest with you guys, I'm not a huge fan of it, um, just like sending snaps back and forth to people, but you know what? Um, once I started kind of looking at it as like many YouTube videos, um, it kind of changed my perspective on it. So if you guys use Snapchat, if you follow anybody on Snapchat and you guys kind of want to see uh, behind the looks, even more behind the looks than what you see on these uh, YouTube videos, then uh, hit me up and follow me on Snapchat. It's just Trey Fisher. I'm pretty lucky that I have a unique name where it doesn't matter really what uh, social media I use. Usually if you type in Trek Fisher, you can find me on it, but um, head over to uh, Snapchat if you guys use it. Add me and uh, check out my story. Um, been posting uh, different things here and there, but um, yeah, starting to get used to it. And it's kind of fun to uh, just post some stories up. But if you guys use Snapchat, add me and uh, yeah, we'll start snapping.
right guys, so it is Thursday, April 30th, about 4.56 p.m. right now, on my way to the gym, a little bit earlier than usual. Again, you guys know, um, I like to go to the gym in the evenings, but tonight, I am going to see Avengers Age of Ultron at 7.15, so I gotta get my workout in before that. Luckily, the theater is on the other side of the parking lot from my gym, so uh, basically when I leave the gym, I can just walk straight over there, so I don't really have a problem when it comes to that, but I'm really excited to see that movie tonight. I will probably give you guys a very, st like, very short review of what I think about that movie because I'm actually going to see it tomorrow afternoon as well. Tonight, an opportunity came up to go see it for free, actually, so I took that opportunity. Um, I still have my pre-sale ticket that I bought um, for tomorrow afternoon, so after I see it tomorrow, I'll be able to really digest that movie and I'll let you guys know what I think about it more in depth. But tonight, just going in, um, going to enjoy myself, uh, show some popcorn in my face, and really, really enjoy the movie that I've been looking forward to for a long time. And uh, so, yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing tonight after my workout. So I will give you guys a review on what I thought about Avengers Age of Ultron, but it's going to be very short, very brief, and just kind of like whether or not I thought it was good, whether or not it lived up to all the hype, or if it was as good as the first one. But um, yeah, so I will probably split the videos up where um, after I give you guys that short review tonight, that will probably be the end of this video, and then the longer review will probably be in the next video. So I'll be looking out for that, but about to go into the gym now, hit a pull workout, and I'll see you guys in there. <laughs> guys so I just got out of Avengers Age of Ultron and I have to say that this movie gave me everything I wanted and more the reason I say that is because as excited as I was going into this sorry as excited as I as excited as I was going into this movie I was really scared going into this movie as well because they have shown us trailers for months now they have shown us so much of this movie so many clips that I was scared that they've already shown us the best parts of this movie and they've given away too much already. But I was very pleasantly surprised because they haven't shown you the best parts of this movie yet and they still hold those things back and this movie delivered in every single aspect. Now, do I think this movie was better than the first Avengers? I'm not going to say and really kind of make a decision on that yet because I want to see it another time before I can kind of make um, say whether or not I like this movie better than the first Avengers because that fir the first Avengers movie was so amazing and I've seen it so many times so I want to see this movie again tomorrow so you guys will know in the next video whether or not I think Avengers 2 is better than the first Avengers so uh, be looking out for that but this is going to wrap up this video now go out and see Avengers right now go out and see Avengers because the next video I put up I'm going to be talking about Avengers I'm going to try to keep the spoilers completely out of it but I will be talking about Avengers Age of Ultron in the next video so go out and see it now but uh, yeah that's going to wrap up this video though hopefully you guys enjoyed it hopefully hopefully you guys were able to take some tips from my chest workout yesterday you can apply them to your workouts in the future but uh, yeah if you like this video give it a thumbs up hit that red subscribe button if you haven't yet it's gonna help my channel grow and I'd really appreciate it www.trekfisher.com for online personal training thank you again so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video